Today we're speaking with Dr. Christopher Lathan. He is instructor of medicine at Harvard Medical School and instructor in medicine and adult oncology at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. His lecture is Clinical Trials, Personalized Medicine, and Vulnerable Patient Populations. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Lathan. Thank you for inviting me. Would you describe for us briefly the subject of your lecture? Yeah, I'm very interested in the effect of clinical trials on the access of treatment for underserved minorities. And I think in particular looking at the term personalized medicine and how patients access some of this specialty care. What are the challenges of recruiting and retaining minorities in underserved populations in clinical trials? There are usually two major ones. One is access. People feel that they have barriers to get to the actual cancer centers where the clinical trials are taking place. The second part is patients sometimes will feel that they don't have uh, the ability to say yes or say no or to really understand uh, the clinical trials as well. So physical access problems and then also a perception that they don't really understand the treatments. How can we enroll more minorities in underserved populations in clinical trials? I think the first thing is we try to build trust with the community, um, and a lot of people have done this looking at different community leaders. Um, the second thing I think though is to open the doors at the cancer centers so that patients can actually come in and get that high quality care that everybody else is getting, and then from that trust we'll be able to get more people in clinical trials. Can you talk a little bit about the treatment gap in cancer care by race with African Americans having higher incidence of prostate, colon, lung cancer, head and neck cancer, esophageal cancer? Yeah, this state has been really well established over the last 20 years and unfortunately African Americans tend to present with later stage disease. That's one of the reasons that there's more of a disparity. Also, they don't get the same kind of treatments, which really also leads to uh, increased mortality rates. What are some strategies for narrowing the treatment gap? I think number one is educating the community to come in and demand the appropriate health care and then for the providers to make sure that we are providing the same quality care to our patients regardless of social class or ethnic background. We talk a lot about challenges and disparities research. What do you see on the flip side as some of the solutions on the horizon? I think one of the things is having conferences like this where different, different groups can get together, where you can have bench scientists, health services researchers, and public health people talk about their best strategies. I think that's number one. Number two is obviously trying to get more patients, as I mentioned, into the cancer centers, and more people are doing that. Dr. Latham, thank you very much. Thank you.